Oh, what's going on guys? Well, we're working on the CRV. Gonna replace the boots on the CV axle real quick. We're gonna just do a real quick how-to. I'm gonna show you what's up. As you can see, the axle boots are all blown out on this guy. It's making a big fat mess. So just went ahead and did some suspension work to this thing and noticed that it started to kind of, the grease started slinging out of it when I went and drove it for a little while and you can see it's getting a little oily there. So, instead of buying a whole new axle, just went ahead and just got a Boot kit, it's two boots, two bands, two packs of grease. Shit, it's gonna save me a lot of money because this was only like $25 versus getting a new axle, which they can be, you know, 40, 60, 80. Um, but save me some money doing this way. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull the axle out and I'll show you how to reboot this guy. You're gonna need the tool that rebands the, uh, the axle itself. Some cutters, some snap ring pliers, a whole bunch of red rags, and some brake clean. Advice helps out too. And I'll show you all this here in a second. So you got two different sized boots, small one, big one. Same thing with the clamps, big one, small one, and two small ones. But you get your cutters, and you're gonna want to cut these bands off. this guy off here I can use a blade but I'm just using these cutters since they're in my hand okay. I have something to throw all the stuff away Go ahead and slide this off get ready to burn through some gloves off the band the old part of the band is still right there and what we're looking for is we're looking for a c-clip okay there's one right here Different type, different type of snap ring pliers. Okay. Just pry this guy off. All right, don't lose that. Okay, and this guy, sometimes you have to hammer these off. Sometimes you don't. This one we're gonna have to. So this is a damper here. Going to have to get rid of this damper also. Same thing, it has a band right there. This is the worst vice ever.
guys off. Kind of clean this up, and then you're gonna get the big boot and slide it over on here. Big boot. Now, gotta always make sure, go ahead and stick one of these on here now, just in case. And the damper, it's kind of optional if you want to put it back on or not, okay? But you will have to clamp it later on, okay? And do this first. Do this. Okay. Okay. New gloves. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze this whole packet of grease into the boot, then reband it. Straight. And big boy. Okay. Here. Let's just get the tool. So we're gonna rebuild this thing. Go ahead and clean this off. And I gotta be super clean. Grease, move this up to the line, add my grease. Do is come over here and clean this up real quick. Bearings here, wipe them off real quick. Now these have to go in a certain way. Um, they're shut like rectangles. So they have to go long ways like this. Okay. This is gonna be kinda tricky to get back in, but you're gonna just slide it all together on there. You gotta make sure this is facing the right way or this will not go back on. You'll know it because you'll fight with it. It won't go on like that. Okay.
Boom. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much how you do it real quick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I got some extra bands somewhere up here. And I'll band the stamper back kind of where it was. Again, you don't have to use that if you don't want to. And I'll just clean this guy back up and go throw it back in the CRV. And that was it. Hope you enjoyed the video. You guys take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video.